welcome back. Uh, Logan is down here, so if you hear him, he's being my little helper today. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the fam. We're back. We're going to start the vlog off with a huge unboxing because I'll show you guys I have a ton of PR since I was gone last week. I just got a bunch of stuff in and I was like, you know what? I just need to go through and get rid of all these packages. And I figured let's open it up together and I'll show you guys some fun stuff I got. So Napa was so fun. I know the vlog last week was really quick, but I always struggle with trying to find the balance between being in the moment and capturing stuff, especially for vlogs. And it's different when I'm like with Ethan traveling. I feel like when I'm with my friends, like I just don't want to like be on my phone the whole time. Like Ethan just like gets it and it's just different with friends. It's really like the only time I get to see them. So excuse me, are you gonna be chatting this whole time? So Callie Ray, let's start with the unboxing. Callie Ray sent over some stuff, which I'm pumped about. You guys know I'm obsessed with their mascara. So it looks like they launched a few more products. Uh, products with a T? No, products. It looks like we have some skin tints, like clean foundation skin tints. Sir, you're not, this isn't gonna work if you're gonna be doing this. And then two plumping lip glosses. Thank you so much, Callie Ray. You guys know I love you. I'm gonna try these out. Maybe I'll try them out this week in the vlog. This looks like, I don't know who this is from. Chocolate? Oh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Do you guys do anything for Valentine's Day? I feel like Ethan and I are usually like not big Valentine's Day people. Okay, cute. Premium sea salt, dark chocolate. Ooh, sea salt caramel dark chocolate. That's my favorite. What is this brand? It's called Sweet Cards. It's a literal chocolate bar. Oh, it's liquid IV. Sorry, I'm like a little too close to the camera. It's liquid IV. Oh my God, amazing. So if you guys don't know, I am I work with liquid IV and I have a discount code with them and it literally says right here that my discount code is temporarily 30% off, which I think it's usually 10 or 15. So it's 30% off from February 10th to February 14th. I'll put my link below. I'll put my code on screen, but that is so cute. They just sent a little like, thanks for being part of the team chocolates. Thrive Cosmetics sent over, I think some of their, oh, some of their eyeshadow sticks. I love Thrive. Oh no, Sarah. I just got too excited to pull these out and show you. And I just ripped this one apart. These things are amazing. Let me just pop one of these on because I just want to show you how pretty they are. This, they, maybe they launched new shades. I'm not sure I didn't read the package. This is the shade Nikki. No, this is not new. Look at how pretty these are, you guys. They are the prettiest, easiest eyeshadows. And they just, like, you can put them all over. I like to use, like, a brighter one like this in the inner corner because it just, like, brightens everything up. Don't you think? This is very hard to do in a camera. Don't you think these are so pretty? They come in multiple shades. If you're, like, not an eyeshadow person, but you always, like, want something on your eye, these are really, really fun. And it look, I feel like they didn't used to have this, but this is a little, um... This is a little like thing to blend it out, which is nice because I feel like they didn't used to have that. Thank you so much Thrive, I love you guys. They're also a super clean beauty brand if you guys don't know about them. He's sent over a biggie, a big boy, like you, mister. Oh, just like a little restock, which is so nice. I actually don't know if they use, I think this might be a new product, it's their cleanser. I don't think I've ever used a cleanser from them. So heck yeah. And then their cream and their nourishing balm, which these are two favorite products from them. Keys is Alicia Cares. Oh, wow, Alicia Keys skincare brand. Another super clean, amazing skincare brand. Okay, next is from Levian Bakery. Let me open up this card so that I can give you guys information i feel like yeah so levian bakery just opened up on newberry street in boston if you guys are local and they sent me some baked goods which like this is not on my diet but holy these look good oh my god oh good lord are these these are cookies these are cookies do you guys see how big these are these are as big as your head these looks insane levian bakery guys 
Oh, Ethan's gonna be excited about this one. Thank you so much. And get to Newberry Street and check them out if you guys are in Boston. All right, next is a few products from Lolly, L-O-L-I. They are a new skincare brand to me, but they actually told me they were sending, really? Mm -hmm. They were told, told me they were sending these over so that I could test out a couple of their products. What is this noise, honey bun? This is the I'm annoyed, pay attention to me noise. So they sent over, oh cool, blue cornflower tonic. This is a clarifying, I never know how to say that word, Meissler water. Look how gorgeous, these are glass bottles. A beauty oil elixir, and then a perfecting scrub. Very cool, I'm excited to try these. Okay, big one from Kerastas, which is a hair care brand. I'm very familiar with their products. They're a pretty big brand. Oh, some blonde products, which you guys know I love to try out new blonde products. A serum, a, I believe this is a rinse. So like a conditioner and then probably a shampoo. I just feel like nothing's ever in English, right? Like this is not English, is it? Couldn't tell you what this is. We're gonna try it all out. We're gonna test it. Thank you, Keratos. Kerastas. Kerastas. Thank you, Kerastas. I'm excited to try. I love me some good hair products. Costarina. This is a Greek, I think, skincare brand. Oh my God, how cute. But I also think they have like olive oil. Fresh. Okay, so it's like, it is olive oil, but it's also skincare. Multiple products. Costarina. God, guys, doesn't Greece look freaking amazing? It's on my bucket list. Look, so we have an olive oil and then we have a face oil that is like an like extra virgin hydrating face oil. I'm very curious if it's gonna like be like olive oily on the face. Didn't Jennifer Lopez say that like all she used for skincare was olive oil? I feel like she said that at one point and everyone was like, honey, we don't believe you. <laughs> uh, but then she also came out with her own skincare line. So it's like, which one is it, JLo? Very cute, so cute. Yes, thank you. You like that noise, huh? Oh. Whoa, Bubba. He's a little scared. Paracon MD skincare brand. Look how profesh. This is a daily brightening and exfoliating peel. Vitamin C ester. And then a couple sheet masks. Cold plasma. Hell yeah, that sounds good. I need some like cold. I feel like I'm so puffy still from the trip. I need some like depuffing. Okay, so tons of benefits, brightening, smooth texture, fewer wrinkles, elasticity, skin looks brighter. Vitamin C is usually used for brightening. So cool, I'm gonna test these out as well. Okay, that's the unboxing guys. Remember when I said I wasn't gonna make a mess? Cool, 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 cool. So yeah, I'm actually on my way out the door and right now I have to go back to the dentist <laughs> because we're just gonna keep working on this tooth. It's not quite perfect yet. I told you guys last week that Ethan and I weren't convinced about the color. There's a little issue with the spacing that I still wanna work out. So anyway, I won't bore you with it. I'm headed to the dentist and then just coming back here to get a little more work done, done and hang out with the little man. So uh, yeah, I'll check back in a little bit. Okay guys, let's have a little parking lot chat since I'm sitting here and I just got my smoothie and my wellness shot. I just left the dentist and I have a little tooth update. So most of you guys know I did Invisalign forever and it was mostly to move this tooth right here. This tooth is like higher up than this tooth. So we did Invisalign forever and it moved them for sure, but just not enough. Like this one just, it wasn't moving. So you see how it's like a little bit higher? It's a little angled. So, and this tooth is fake. So the issue is, first of all, I felt like the color, it's really hard to tell in the camera and in this light, but I feel like the color is a little brighter than the rest of them. So they're gonna address that. And then what we're gonna do with this tooth is we're gonna do a veneer so that these two teeth mirror these two teeth. See how these are like completely flush? So we're in this one, there's like this tiny little, like, you see this space? We're going to basically fix that, make it perfect because I just, it annoys me. And it's one of those things that I have been working on this whole tooth issue for literally five years, I think now, but even longer, like when this happened to me, when I was little, like this tooth got chipped and it died and then it was discolored. It's been in journey. 
So I'm like, it's been so long at this point. I'm on camera a lot. I want them to be perfect. And I'm like, I've already gone through this process for so long. I could easily just be like, you know what? Cement it in and call it a day. I'm done with this. But I'm like, what's another couple of months at this point? And the difference is it will hopefully be perfect. So that's the update. I'm actually really excited because I know that I don't really have to wait like for an Invisalign type situation. Veneer is just... They go on and they're going to file this tooth down a little bit and then they basically put like a cap over it and then it'll just hopefully look completely flushed and perfect and I'm very excited. So that's the update. That's the tooth update. I did get another wellness shot today so I figured I would entertain you with that and I don't have my water to chase this so like say a prayer. Woo. <laughs> 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 that cayenne man Woo! gets me every time it clears your sinuses though cayenne lemon ginger something else okay i gotta get home and relieve ethan because he's done with the baby for like an hour and a half so that's the update ethan made they're just air fried chicken sandwiches they look bomb tonight for dinner i had to show you guys where'd you get this recipe i made it up you made it up sorry can't help you what's up guys happy not sure what day it is. I'm actually testing out a new hair product right now from JVN. It's an air dry cream. So you just let your hair air dry and it gives you like this beautiful texture and volume. My hair's already almost dry and I'm loving it. But anyway, I wanted to check in. This morning I went to workout class, which I haven't been in a while because of the trip. And it was actually my hundredth class at the studio. So we celebrated. Well, they made like a little sign that said, congratulations on a hundred classes. And she wrote me a little note. I just love them so much. It was so cute. So I actually am feeling normal today because I worked out for the first time in a long time. So that is good. I want to show you guys what Logan has been eating because he's been pounding food recently. Like a lot of different foods. Okay, Ethan did this, which is like so aesthetic. We've been getting these happy baby pouches and we've been giving him breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So he really loves anything with pears in it, but he'll eat all of these. Like there was not one of these, I don't think. Actually, he hasn't tried the bananas, plums, and granola. This one's new. But I don't think there's one of these that he has not eaten and enjoyed. This one was a little iffy. Broccoli, carrots, olive oil, and garlic. This one smells garlicky, so this one kind of grossed me out. But And he didn't eat the whole thing, but anyway, we've been loving these and he loves them. We also will do, like in the morning for breakfast, we'll do oatmeal and then we'll do like a fruity one he was obsessed with the banana and peanut butter one when i gave that to him last week but in case there's any new moms out there starting to transition their babies to food we're obsessed with these and we just you just open up the packets and you squeeze it out onto a spoon and feed them that way we came to tj maxx because we want to get him some new clothes and we're getting him sippy cups so he can drink water um, sippy cup. oh, there's no way he does that That's that doesn't have months. a top yeah, yeah we need something with a top and maybe yes. handles Handles and then no. Yeah, handles. yeah, perfect. Does he need any new bibs? Because they have all these cute ones. Yeah. Like I think these are good because they have a catch stuff. Yeah, that's what I like. And the other ones are too big for his body, so like these little ones look good. Sure. I mean, these are really. <laughs> More please, these are so cute. Wanted to show you guys what we got, so I thought this is a cute little set. He's honestly grown out of a lot of stuff, so we're getting like nine months stuff at this point. They didn't have a great selection for boys, honestly. This was probably the girliest thing we got, but I, it's fine. It's white. I thought this was adorable. Little uh, sweater pants set. And then this little onesie, Carter's onesie, and this super cute onesie as well. So just to tide us over a little bit, I don't understand why six to nine month things would come with a hat. Though I could, I could maybe try because it would be cute. I don't know. He's just not wearing hats like this. His head's also really big. So also, we came home with this <laughs> because our old coffee table, if you guys remember, it's just a huge square. And if he's gonna start moving, he's gonna start. It's gonna be a hazard. So this one is cool because it has storage. I can't open that, and it's round. So it's gonna be just, you know, no corners or anything for him. And we can stick blankets and a bunch of his crap in there that usually ends up getting, you know, basically looking like that. <laughs> so I'm excited. We, uh, we're on the floor right now, so I can't show you what it's gonna look like. But once we move our little play stash, I'll move this over here and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys the final like air dried hair look with that cream. 
This is it right here, the JVN Air Dry Cream Complete. I just think it's amazing how much body and texture and shine my hair has with zero heat. And my hair is pin straight. Like my hair has nothing to it. And it still has this like beautiful bend. I'm obsessed with this. So this is awesome for days where you don't want to like blow dry your hair or style it, but you still want it to look decent. I also think like, even if you just get like the front pieces where you want them, this is perfect for like a little claw clip, sitch. You know what I'm saying? You see, do you feel, do you feel me? It really blows my mind. This whole line is incredible. I'm, I won't waste your time because I did an entire video on this on Wednesday. So if you wanna hear about all of his products, I'll link that video for you guys. Wanna look out my, look at my freaking PP postpartum hair loss. It's in the front. It's just like my baby hairs in the front. You can see them kind of like sticking out. It's so annoying, but I do have a lot of regrowth happening. So that's good, but I wanted to give you guys um, a little Logan update. I feel like I hadn't given you one in a while. So we are fully done breastfeeding. I haven't breastfed and I don't even know how long, like I don't even remember the last time I breastfed him, which does make me a little sad, but it's probably for the best because I think if I had known it was the last time, I would have been really sad and emotional. So he is fully taking formula bottles and like I showed you guys, he's eating food. And I pumped two nights ago for like three minutes just cause I was in a little bit of pain. And I feel like I might be done. Like I might be fully done pumping, which like, Praise Jesus. I'm so, I've been so over it. Yes, yeah, so that's the update there. Exciting stuff. I need to pick up our apartment. It has been an absolute war zone. I still haven't even unpacked. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm actually gonna film a couple sponsored stories for our first aid, and then I'm going to clean. That's the plan for the next, I don't know, hour because he just went down for a nap. Oh, also we tried today to do two naps instead of what we had been doing, which was three, because all week he has been a nightmare to put down for naps, like losing his mind. And we're like, what is going on? We do think it's a sleep regression because he's at the seven month stage. She's actually seven months today, which is just so cute. Um, so apparently they're like, this is a big, big milestone. Like they're about to crawl. There's a lot, there's a lot happening. So it's gonna mess with his sleep. He was up like every three, three and a half hours last night, which was tough. So we were like, let's try doing, so Ethan's idea, which genius. We were like, let's try doing two naps because he's at that age now where he may not need as many naps during the day. And hopefully that will help sleep at night, but also like make it so it's not a nightmare to put him down for every single nap. Cause when he's screaming his head off and I literally have to like squat him down like this to make him sleep. Like it's just it's so absurd. Okay, last little update. I got this little L for Logan from Bobble Bar. I'll try and find a link for you guys, but isn't it so cute? Let me get close to the camera. It's a little diamond. I don't think it's real diamonds, but it's so cute. I love it. Okay, that's my update. I'm gonna go finish up this work stuff and then clean. It is so nice out here today. It is, I think 50 degrees, which is actually my car says 60, which I, it can't be true. My phone says 50, but it's so unseasonable, unseasonal or unseasonable, unseasonal for February. So it's amazing. I think we're gonna go for a walk in a little bit just because we wanna get him outside and it's nice out. So I'm headed to go get a sub because the Jersey Mike's just opened up around us and I am craving a sub today and like a Coke so unhealthy so bad for me but like if logan is not sleeping and whenever i feel like this and i feel like a zombie it's it's so bad because it makes me want to eat bad because it makes me want to like comfort like you know f eating food for comfort <laughs> because i'm dying and i'm like i can't eat healthy i i can't even keep my eyes open he's just boycotting sleep like again last night he was up every three hours he went down at seven he woke up at he actually woke up at oh no it was ten it wasn't even three hours. Then again at 7, 10, 12, 30, around one, I went back to bed, 4, 30, and then 7, 30. Like hell, like 
I'm like, we already did this. Like we already did this, like what? is happening so it's brutal but we're gonna get through it the reason i wanted to pop on to update you guys was he freaking crawled today so he's seven months yesterday and he crawled today it's seven months and one day he like actually crawled like he has been like moving his arms and dropping on his belly but he fully like on his um arms and knees today to crawl it was the cutest thing ever so i just had to share that because it's exciting this person's gonna judge me for sure so I'm gonna go get my sub. I'm gonna sign the vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I will catch you next week. If you guys could do me a favor, I would love requests. I'm taking requests. I think that's the word, requests for Wednesday's beauty video. I did hair this week, so I'm thinking maybe I might do a Patrick Ta first impressions. Would you guys wanna see that? Cause I got a bunch of Patrick Ta stuff in and I thought you guys, oh, this man, this man's in the vlog. I thought you guys might want to see just like a bunch of his products in use. I already like a lot of them. And I feel like his brand, like a lot of maybe non-makeup people don't really know about him. He's a um, celebrity makeup artist. So let me know if you guys would want that or any other requests that you might have for a beauty video, five minute makeup, whatever. Whatever it is, I'm taking requests in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching this week again. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Really quick, this was supposed to be in last week's vlog, but I'm a dummy and I forgot to give the, my, this clip to my editor. So here are my nails. I got my nails done in last week's vlog and I never showed you guys. The color is Love is in the Bear, B-A-R-E. And they're just like very natural. They're already a little grown out and I'm nervous because they're way longer than I normally do them. I did them pretty long for Napa, but I love them. I think they're so freaking cute. Anyway, had to share in case you guys are looking for a good nude color because I think these are super cute. Okay, bye. Bye.